This is Nina Curley of Wamda Media. I'm here with Alex Wyatt, the founder of Climate Bridge at the World Economic Forum. Alex, how are you? Very good, thank you. You just attended our Mix and Mentor event in Amman. Um, what were your impressions of the event and what were the biggest challenges that you saw entrepreneurs facing there? First of all, I mean, I think it's a terrific event uh, because entrepreneurs, I think, the world over, and I don't think it's specific to any particular region, uh, have an enormous amount of challenges and people that they want to talk to. What is really special about the Mix and Mentor is not so much that it assembles entrepreneurs, because entrepreneurs are always looking for assistance, but it assembles people that are not only willing to help, but are actually you know, get a lot of pleasure from helping. And I think that's the genius of what it does. Speaking from either side, I think as an entrepreneur, six, seven years ago, I would have really loved to have gone to one of those events and heard from those that have done it before and made some mistakes. And now on the other side, I took a great deal of personal satisfaction from being able to go along and hopefully meaning that some, some people that you really wish to help aren't going to make the same mistakes that we made going along. When it comes to the Jordanian ecosystem and the mistakes you saw those entrepreneurs making, how do those resonate with you? Are they universal? Was there anything specific? I mean, not so much mistakes. Mistakes is probably the wrong word in terms of where the Jordanian ecosystem is at. It's just more a lack of knowledge. So we talked about things that are really pretty basic and fundamental in terms of capital raising, in terms of building a team. And there, there's not the ecosystem here uh, where I think people have a natural affinity, a natural understanding of those things. I mean, potentially in some areas of the world, like in Silicon Valley, people grow up with this and therefore may know what you know, a preference shareholder is, what the difference between options and equity is. There's a whole stack of different things. So I think one of the big challenges here is there's just not a tradition uh, of entrepreneurialism. And so therefore, the simple building blocks of getting things done is something that people really aren't aware of. And that's where I think events like the Mix and Mentor uh, can really help to address those challenges and problems. Tell us a bit about what you faced when you were building Climate Bridge, um, you know, from the ground up, and now apparently you've just sold it, so or sold your shares. Um, you know, what were the biggest challenges that you faced scaling? Uh, well, the biggest challenge at the beginning, uh, which again resonates with what we were doing in Amman, was actually finding someone willing to back you. Uh, you think you have a great idea, you've got a lot of energy, you really want to do this, you think there's a market, uh, but there's so many barriers in the way of young entrepreneurs trying to get some funding and get some support. So probably the biggest challenge we had was right at the beginning, uh, was to, to get up and running. Um, thereafter, I mean, I think it's probably similar with all businesses. I mean, you, you've got to, uh, you're managing the transition of growing very, very quickly without losing control, delegation, building teams, uh, finding, you know, some investors that fit your values, some that don't. I mean, all the usual sorts of challenges, but I suppose specifically to me, probably right at the very, very beginning was the, was the hardest time. Uh, and I think that's uh, it's a good lesson for all the entrepreneurs out there that potentially the biggest hub, uh, hump of all uh, is the one that they're about to get over. Do you have any advice that you can give to entrepreneurs about, you know, how to get over that hump? I suppose one of the mistakes that we made, and we talked about this in the Mix and Mentor, was a lot of entrepreneurs come up with an idea and they're like, okay, I need an idea, I need venture capital. And they look up on the internet who's a venture capitalist and they try and go there. But actually, I think there are a lot more sources of funding and many, many of which are far more appropriate for early stage ventures uh, so in terms of angel, angel funding, uh, high net worth individuals. And I think basically the main piece of advice I'd give to entrepreneurs looking to start up is to broaden their perspective uh, in terms of potential sources of funding before they, get, before they get going rather than just being restricted to venture capitalists or other traditional forms of capital. Thank you so much, Alex. No worries. Thank you.